Escape to the action at Seminole Casino Hotel Immokalee. It is Vegas style 24 seven, because just like Vegas, Seminole Casino Hotel never closes. It's pure entertainment anytime you want, and it is truly where paradise wins. Sirens, the half hour comedy from Dennis Leary was one of the top debuting comedies on basic cable last year. The series is back for season two on USA Network. It follows Chicago's best EMTs as they navigate their way through professional and personal drama. Two of the stars are Kevin Daniels and Kevin Bigley, and they join us now to tell us more. Good morning, guys. Kevin. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Kevin and Kevin, I first have to ask you, how does that work on the set? When you hear Kevin, are you both turning around? <laughs> how does that work on the set? Yeah. There's <laughs> lots of options. There's tall Kevin, uh, which would be this guy, yeah, shorter, shorter Kevin. Kevin. Big I'll, Kevin. I'm not short, but I'm shorter. <laughs> big um, Kevin, little Kevin. Big Kevin, little Kevin. Black Kevin, white Kevin. Less uh, popular. Less popular. But uh, you know, the, uh, effective. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it'll get it done. It yeah, it'll get it the job done. We do a lot of you know, but you know, usually it's Bigley Daniels, yeah, Hank yeah. Bryan. They're like, hey, you. You know, we yeah, actually hey, both of you stop talking. <laughs> both of you stop. Yeah, 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 yeah you look. Come on. <laughs> number one, number two. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no. <laughs> Our apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness. All right, well, congratulations on season Thank two you. of this show. I know you're pumped to have it back on TV. How do you describe what this show is? It's a little racy, but it's funny. It's really funny. It, you know, it, it is, and I'm always, what I love, because, you know, we've been really active on, like, Twitter and, like, uh, Facebook and, you know, Instagram. You get to hear the fans' comments, and, like, I, I love when someone new finds the show, they're like, you know, I thought it was going to be all potty mouth humor, <laughs> but it's really funny and it's really cute and sweet. And I'm like, yeah. well, thank you for checking us out. You know, yeah, tell your friends. This season, this season, there's lots of heart. It's pretty, it is. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's been, well, but, you know, we, we have genius writers and we have an incredible cast. Dennis Leary and Bob Fisher, you know, created the show. It was a remake of a British show and they kind of brought it in with Leary's brand and like, they kind of, they just, they, they're they, good. They Leary keeps them locked up in the basement in these <laughs> cages. And they just kind of spoon feed yeah. them soup every day. They get really hungry, and that's how great comedy is. That's how great comedy is born. In Dennis Leary's yes. basement. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Well, what's so funny, too, is I actually have a brother in law who is an EMT and, fire, and firefighter, okay. and I know that they are having just as much fun as you guys are on the screen. So I think that there is some truth to some of these stories, even though they are a little outrageous at times, it's, but there is a little there's truth. There's so much. You know, I mean, the show, like, uh, was started by an EMT uh, whose blog, I think it was called uh, uh, T. Blood, Sweat, and Tea? Yeah, Blood, Blood, Sweat, and Tea. You know, and yeah. it's all just his stories about what it was like working at EMT, you know, and, and they and they created the show, you know, and, and Dennis's company loved it, and they were like, let's make an American version of it because these guys, you know, our first responders, they use this humor in order to, like, deal with sometimes some very, you know, traumatic experiences. And it's like they're, and it's, I think it's, the, the show is kind of like a tribute to, like, what these guys go through. And then you see, like, the friendships that evolve and, like, the it's relationships funny. that build. It means, because sometimes the most shocking story that, like, we have or episode that we have, it's actually the one that most first responders have had. Yeah. You know, like, you'll, you'll have, like, something, like, uh, like with the there's bottle. There's an episode about, yeah, with there's... The bottle up the guy's... Nah. <laughs> nah. Um, can't say this in Fort Myers. Uh, can't say this in Fort Myers? <laughs> yeah, but, no, we can say no, but, no. but a lot of, like, a lot of the EMS workers were like, had that call, had that call, had that call, yeah. had that call. So <laughs> That's like, exactly what happens on like, that call. Oh, wow, yeah. okay, yeah. It's been fun. Yeah, so true. Well, and what's next for you two? I know this show is keeping you pretty busy, but what else is going on with you two? Personally, professionally, give us some insight on what's been keeping you busy these days. Well, uh... I, I still, uh, luckily, I, you know, I get to be part of another little show briefly, kind of like my, uh, my my well-fed family, Modern Family, and that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I go in every once in a while, and I, but I just did a, another episode with them that'll be airing uh, sometime in February. This kid's on a movie, because, you know, that's, what, that's, oh, that's yeah. the, the new haircut. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. I cut the pomp and off. Pump. It'll grow back, don't it's worry. Dramatic for Sirens fans, it'll be back. There's a movie called Delinquent that mm -hmm. will be coming okay. out at some point. I'm not sure, but it's an indie, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I uh, uh, do a show, um, some voices on a show called Bojack Horseman, also on Netflix. Got right you. Now. Right. Yeah. Also, this guy has a little thing, uh, this funny and die, funny or die. Funny or die. That's right. Thank you for plugging <laughs> that with my wife, because I got married over in Chicago. Oh, congratulations! To just some random person. <laughs> <laughs> just picked her up. Just picked her up and said, "Yeah, we love like you. You're marrying me." Yeah, exactly. And, and a little bit of trivia: if you, you know, you fans of the show, you watch the show, you will get to meet Kevin's wife this season. 
Yeah. On the show. You'll My see her briefly. Comes on the show. We won't tell you who she's yeah. playing, but yeah. she's there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Show. She's brilliant. Yeah. She's All very right. good. She, she kills, kills it. it. Well, good, you, you proved, good. Let her in. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know how you get any work done because this uh, is just too much fun, obviously, for you guys. Uh, you're, you're having too much it's fun. Wrong. We don't actually. <laughs> There's if no you work. Tune There's it no work. in. It's yeah, it's just us sitting around we and just uh, got to around joking. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't do anything. <laughs> it's barely a television show. Kevin and Kevin, thank you so much. Congratulations on season two of Woo! Sirens. We are going to be tuning in and laughing along with thank you. you so thank you, guys. We of course will. On our website, foxformorningblend.com. They're a hoot, aren't now, they? Now, just staff? talking to them makes me want to watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Up next, how to turn any tailgate or football party into something to remember.